Hey there, friends. I'm coming in from my Wednesday run. Euphemistically calling it a run. I did a bit of walking, but there's a reason for it. If you take a look at what the experts are saying now, what many of the fitness experts are saying, there's a lot of conversation out around heart rate training, which is something I'm doing. I have to be really careful at my age, being old, fat, slow, ugly, all of those things, right? I wear a heart rate monitor, the Garmin heart rate monitor, which works great. Polar would work great. A little better than reading the heart rate off of my wrist. But the big conversation, because of course I'm watching way too much YouTube, as you are, <laughs> as we all are. The big conversation is that it's better to exercise in zone two, zone two, you've got five zones, five being maximum, one being just like your normal sitting on a chair, which I spend a lot of time in and have over the last five years. That's what I'm trying to undo. And as I walk up a super steep hill, right? There's benefits to living on top of the hill. But one of the pains in my ass is that the end of my run, I have to walk up this hill. But anyway, back on topic, zone two for me is just a brisk walk. You know, I, I tried to go out today and keep it right around zone two. I can't run in zone two. Anything that I do with running will push me into zone three. And a brisk walk, especially uphill, like right now, I am in zone, probably hitting zone four. You can tell by the difficulty I'm having in speaking. In zone two, you can hold on a conversation, no problem. In zone three, it starts to get more difficult. And as you get to zone four, you start to have some issues. Now, I'm watching this very closely on my watch, saying 147, right? So for a man of my age, that's 220 minus 60. 60% 60 of that is about 100. 90 to 100 beats per minute. And I'm clearly not at that. I'm at 150. So I am right now in the early signs of zone four. So the truth is, when you're really out of shape, you need a lot of time to undo what you're doing. A lot of time. If zone two is truly the answer, working an hour at zone two, which is just simply brisk walking. That's what it's going to take to lose the fat rather than burn the sugar, which is just going to lead you to injury. And I'm talking to myself here, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say is that going slower might be the answer. And for me, because I'm battling 223 pounds, I have to get rid of at least 23 of those pounds. And working on that is going to take a long, slow, consistent journey. Every day. Every day. There are no cheat days. Every day matters. I have fewer days ahead of me at my age. So every day is precious, as it should be for you, no matter where you are in your journey. Anyhow, those are my thoughts for today. I'm back at my house. Beautiful day here, a little warm, but I got to get used to it. From here, it's just going to get warmer and uh, more desert-like and crazy. So if you've watched this far, thank you for the likes and the subscribes. And let me know what you're doing, what you're up to, and your encouragement as I catch my breath. Just keeping it real here on this video. I hope you like these. Thank you for watching. Bye.